Hello again. Today I'm just going to put some gas into Trigo here. Uh, just want to go over a few things. Um, Alright, so um, say you had no gas in the system at all and the AC pump doesn't want to kick in. Now with this particular van you can't get into you can't get to where the relay is because the relay is behind there. The relay for the Tarago that is for the AC is behind there and to get to it you have to get in from underneath and feel for it and you can actually see that's the relay for the low speed AC the top one up there is for the very top one is for um, the pump at the front and it's just too hard to get into with uh, to put a jumper in I'll fix that and um, so when that happens you can't get to the relay you'll find that by putting gas into the system a little bit at a time uh, without the pump pumping just a little bit at a time just turn it on and on and like that let it go it's off there so you'd want to turn it on put a bit of gas in turn it off let the let that settle only for like 15 seconds turn it on again let it settle another 15 seconds eventually if you got once you get enough pressure in there the ac pump will kick in that's if you can't jump to the relay ideally you'd want to jump the relay get the pump working straight away before you start putting gas in but if you can't then that's what you got to do now to find out if your system is worth regassing or if you need to have a vacuum pumped what you have to, what it should do when you push the valve in you should hear a hiss like that now it doesn't have to be that strong a hiss but um as long as you've got a little bit of a hiss there you know that there's still some sort of pressure in the system now if you've got nothing if you've got no sound at all then you've got no pressure in the system at all and the system will need to be vacuumed first before putting new gas in now when it gets to that stage you probably need to replace the dryer as well and now with my van it's got one here it was um it had no pressure in the system at all i decided to just go straight for the vacuum and uh so it was on vacuum for about three hours prior to putting gas in to make sure that with a vacuum that there was no leaks and that was all good uh that was five years ago and she's still going good i haven't had to give her a top up or anything so I've been lucky with that one so you can try without changing the dryer first uh, but Freon is expensive I had the advantage of uh, my father is a refrigeration mechanic so um, if it all failed then you know I wasn't too much out of pocket for the Freon buying it directly from him instead of what he would have charged others um, okay so that covers that there. Now I'm going to connect this here up. Now you can't really go wrong because the low side is where you want to connect to, and that's the blue there. Now you can see I've got gas here. And uh, that's showing me that there's pressure in the system. Now if it was down here, you'd probably say, alright, that's, that's completely dead. So, now what you want to do is you want to start the van. Make sure all the windows are closed. And you need to make sure that you've got on high air, on cool. All the windows are closed. And it doesn't really matter which direction you have it on here, as long as it's not pointing to the windscreen and AC on now I know that if I let this run long enough it does eventually get cold not as cold as what you'd like and over here I'm gonna I'm getting no 
the pressure there. I want to have, I want to have it up to about 35, and that's showing me not, nothing in there. When the, while the van's running, so I'm going to connect up this bottle, and uh, I've got about a third of the bottle left. So I'm going to put what I've got here left into the system. And uh, it probably won't be enough. I probably need half a bottle. This is, this is a half a kilo bottle. I've obviously got the full free on. So uh, I'm just going to put the camera down while I um, connect this up. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the tin upside down when I put it through. Uh, it's going to be a bit tricky to do all this and, uh, with two hands. So what I can do. So I put the gas in, and that's where it's just sitting now. So a third of that bottle wasn't enough, but it's going to be enough to um, keep, it, keep it cold in the van now. Uh, yeah, like I said, it would have been ideal to get it up to 35. 30, 35 would be good. So um, that's all happy there. Um, and what I did with the bottle, Put the tension on the bottle there, you have to hold the bottle up and down, and then in this one, this one here, the valve doesn't sit quite right in there, so I had to push hard down to get it to let the gas through into the system. I'm just sitting happy there. Yeah, that's about it. Now I can feel some nice cold air coming through there, through the vents. Before it was like blowing hot air. Now we're getting something good happening now. I'll just disconnect these gauges. Now one last thing that I noticed was uh, with this fan, when I took the cover off the low side and just screws on like that, when I took the cover off the low side it went psh, a little bit as I took the cap off. That means that that valve there is where the leak is coming from, why this system keeps on um, over a period of a few months the gas gets low, the valve here needs to be replaced. Oh, I can do that, but not here. I can have to do it at my father's place if uh, my friend is interested in me doing that. So, um, that's pretty much it. I think I've covered um, everything to do with that there. Um, yeah, we, we're all good. So, thanks for watching, guys.